Oh, welcome back here from pierogies to pasties, burgers and barbecue and a whole lot more. St. Paul, it's the place to be this weekend for the sixth annual St. Paul Food Truck Festival. It is happening Saturday at Union Depot. Alex is outside with some of the trucks getting a preview and a taste test this morning. Hi, Alex. I feel very lucky right now, very fortunate. <laughs> I think you guys know it, this, how much I love Indian food. So yep. <laughs> I'm going to sample some today. Uh, and that's just one of many dishes that you'll be able to uh, enjoy this weekend. I can't wait for it. Uh, there's a food truck festival happening. Just Fast is here uh, to talk about how many food trucks are going to be and what kind of foods are going to be represented. 45 food trucks at the St. Paul Food Truck Festival at Union Depot this Saturday. And this is a good spot. Explain, you know, why, like you said, this is like the ideal spot for a festival involving food trucks. It is the ideal spot. So we're at Union Depot's parking lot C, which is covered underneath the Lafayette Bridge. So we've got about 500 by 250 square feet, well, feet of, um, of coverage from either the sun or, or any elements. But yeah, so it's a great spot to be. And this right now is an important time, not only to support your local restaurants, but the food truck industry has probably suffered a little bit since a lot of people are working from home. They aren't gathered at work spots as much. Absolutely. Yeah. People aren't going downtown, you know, working downtown Monday through Friday like they used to be. So that's kind of taken a huge shift, which is another reason that these events are so cool because you get a chance to experience 45 of them all in one place in one day. And you're also supporting small businesses. 95% of the food trucks um, in Minnesota are owner operator. We're going to get to the food now, if, if that's all right. Let's uh, go over Take a look at this. I mean, this is beautiful food, honestly. Uh, Andy from Muddy Tiger Food Truck joins us right now to just explain a little bit about the food you're offering. These are just two of the samples. Uh, good morning, welcome, and tell us about the dishes. Yeah, thanks for having us. So we brought two dishes today that are gonna be at the Food Truck Festival. On the left, we have our Tawa Chicken Sandwich, uh, also available as a rice bowl. It's um, by far our best seller. Uh, to the right of that, we have our wadapau. Uh, wadapau is actually a potato patty that's uh, flavored with Indian spices, dipped in a wet chickpea batter and fried. Uh, wadapau is also um, in, uh, entered into the Twin Cities Vegan Chef Challenge this year as well. So if anyone tries it and likes it, feel free to go vote for it. But yeah, two of the dishes at the Food Truck Festival uh, this weekend. Okay, so you just fill your belly full of lunch, dinner, whatever you want, and then of course, I'm gonna to top it off with a little bit of dessert. How about cheesecake? I know a lot of people love the cheesecake. Uh, joining me right now is Kurt Anderson from Pretty Great Cheesecake. Nice to have you here. Thanks for having us this morning. Okay, now, uh, you're all about cheesecake. Let's talk about, in fact, look at there, Carrie Paytow, or you're not Carrie Paytow anymore, displaying your lovely cheesecakes. What do you offer as far as flavors? So we have s'mores, key lime, banana cream, mini donut, and white chocolate raspberry, along with a gluten-free friendly key lime this week for the uh, food truck festival. And they all come ready to go. You can grab them on your way out if you're too full to eat at the, at the festival. And um, we have no peanuts or tree nuts in any of our products, so no nut allergies at all here. So that's what we're bringing. Okay, the, are, how often are you taking your food truck out for festivals and you now go run out to parties? Uh, five times a week. It's nonstop. So if we're not out driving the truck, we're sitting in the driveway baking. Okay. So we bake everything that we see here is all baked right in the food truck by my wife and I. Is that off, right? In the food truck, not, in, not in, in any other spot, in the food truck? Yep, this is our commercial kitchen right here. So we do it all from scratch. Okay, commercial kitchen on four wheels. All right, um, I think... Before I had to break, I, I've got to take a little sample of one of these cheesecakes. And is this, you said this is the banana? That's our banana cream. That's banana, our cream. banana cream. Okay, okay. This is, could be messy, but I'm, I'm going in. Not a big bite, but. Of course, it's delicious. We're talking food trucks. There was a big festival happening this weekend. Thank you, Kurt. And also Andy back there. This is where you should be at the Union Depot. I mean, just a perfect weekend for it. So do check it out. Food trucks, many of them out there. And really just enjoy, enjoy the weekend, enjoy food, and also support your local restaurants and food trucks. Back to you in the studio. Yeah, and support your local coworkers as well, Alex. Yeah. And uh, maybe bring back some samples. Just yes. saying. Okay, a lot of pressure. I will bring back samples, okay. absolutely. Because I know if I didn't, I wouldn't be let back in yeah. the building. That's <laughs> your true. key card won't work. All right, oh, Alex, good. thank you. Yeah. Love those because you can dabble in lots of different types of food. Well, the St. Paul Food Truck Festival is happening Saturday from 11 to 9, Union Depot. It's free to attend. You do have to buy your food.
Which makes That's sense. kind of a fun little graphic too. Cute. <laughs>